Hey guys, Nui here, and in uh, today's episode of PoE 101, I'm going to talk about loot filters, and I'm also going to show you guys um, how I made my own loot filter, and where you guys can go to do that. Um, so I'm going to do a lot of talking, but I'm actually going to close myself out of this picture because I want to be able to let you guys see the entirety of the website and how it works um, without actually having to look at me and focus on what I'm doing or what I'm saying. So I will just be talking in the background, but I'm going to remove myself for now. Um, however, um, this is the website I use uh, when I made my own loop filter, and this uh, is a free website. You can just go to it and make a website. It's uh, filterblade.xyz. Um, I will leave the link for that in the description below. But um, this this is basically set up by uh, NeverSync. Now, NeverSync is known for having created uh, his own loop filter, and it's widely known as a very good loop filter for uh, new players and just basic players alike. Now, what this website allows you to do is to basically create your own NeverSync loop filter. So, as you can see, I have my own filter right here. Um, I've done a ton of changes with it, and it's gotten to a point that I very much, uh, I like it a lot with how it's set up. But, um, when you come here, you won't have that first one saved, however, you will have all these options to change whatever you want. And you can change everything from, um, basic blues to cartographer chisels to how you see map drops, everything. You can change whatever you want. So the way it works is that, um... It lets you, first off, you pick a loop filter that you want to work with, so like a uh, NeverSync Normal or a NeverSync, um, or a NeverSync, uh, Strict or something like that. Anything you want, you just pick that filter, uh, in terms of NeverSyncs. And then, when you go from that, you can change it, um, however, pretty much however you want. So it lets you change vendor recipes, chance theme bases, currency uniques, uh, gems, rare items, crafting rules, maps, flasks, special bases, item progressions, um, it lets you hide and highlight items um, by type, socket groups and links, useful handpicked leveling items, flasks, uh, league items, valuable linked items, and optional filter modules. So there's plenty of stuff that you can customize and as you click them you can customize even more. Um, so you get chromatic orbs, gem cutters, stuff like that, and lets you customize everything you would want to with um, when you're going through and leveling. Um, so the way loop filters were introduced recently, somewhat recently, but they let you see how gear is dropped. So when you get into a map and a bunch of gear drops, uh, you really want to have a loop filter because it stops you from seeing absolutely everything. Because some gear is always going to be trash. Like sometimes some just drops are just going to be trash. That's just the way the game goes. Sometimes the gear is bad. However, you want to be able to see the gear that is actually very, very good for you. So this is how loot filters work, and this is why they're important. But, um, you might not want to just stay with the basic loot filter. The basic loot filter that's installed with the game is decent, and it helps you under start to understand, um, well, the use of loot filters. However, when you get to, like, higher-end stuff and you start getting more comfortable in the game, it definitely becomes, uh, a thought process of yours to want to create your own loot filter and this website makes it very very easy for you and lets you um, customize anything you would want to um, if you understand basic coding there's a lot more you can do but um, if you don't understand basic coding which you can actually do very very easily is go to a loot uh, the loot simulator and then you basically get a generated value loot. So it'll generate loot for you, and you, as you click that, it'll just keep generating loot for you. You can change the amount of items you want dropped and the zone level. So what this allows you to do is, uh, anytime you click here, it'll come up down here, so you can see how you would edit it. And that, um, then you can change it from here, and then you'll be able to see how it will show up here. And you can just keep doing that. Um, so why this is useful is because it lets you do stuff like this, which is blocking out lower items, lower tier items that aren't very good and just aren't helpful to you while allowing you to see and highlight the um, items that are very, very good for you. So after you go through and edit everything you want, all, of your, all your colors, edit all the sounds um, for things you want dropped, uh, and everything like that, you then get the ability to change font sizes, uh, commands, plenty of things. Just that, uh, but this is all more the advanced stuff is more based on like if you understand some basic coding, you need a little bit of knowledge for that. But this is all very helpful, and you can basically just stick through loot simulators and stuff like that and be able to generate whatever you want. And then all you have to do, if you want to just take it from the code standpoint, you, and all just you do, just save it, 
save you whatever filter you create uh save it here and then you can download it immediately from here right down here you can download it here and then it'll go right to your pc and then you just drop it uh You'll just take it and drop it right into your downloads or wherever your loot filters are in your file in your file um with everything like that so um this website is pretty much invaluable to me it's been great because i've been able to generate my very own loot filter and get things to look how i want so i really don't see a lot to be honest um the way my loot filter is set up uh when i'm leveling i really only see um i really only see rares and uh Magic um, and magic items that are project per specifically for my character. Um, so what that means is like it goes by uh, my character itself, and then it picks the rares and um, the rares and magic items that are good for me, and then it always shows uh, unique items. This is really good, and then up to it goes. That, that's how it works up to about maps, and then it maps it shows more stuff, but um, the majority of lower level items I don't like picking up whites. I don't like Looking at whites, I don't like even seeing whites. I don't like that for the entirety of the game. So I pretty much completely obliterated whites and everything um, in terms of that, and that sounded a little raw. <laughs> what I mean is white items, um, the white items in the game I particularly don't uh, particularly like to have and like to show up. So I always made them disappear. And then I have a specific colors for like my chromatics. The way my chromatics show up is always blue. Um, my chromatic color is a blue color, uh, if you can, actually I can go here and, uh, load this. Okay, so now if I go to my loot simulator, as you can see, all my colors are different. So if I generate loot, as you can see, that's what my chromatics look like. It's a very, very vibrant blue, it's very standout-ish, um, among the item drops. Um, and it's very, it's even different color than, um... The harbinger mobs is so it looks very very different and it comes up very nice and it makes it very easy for me to be able to see um any type of chromatic item so it's very comfortable for me but as you can see i block out the majority of the gear that is like lower leveled or under leveled or stuff like that i block that out um and focus on gear that's good for me so like flask scrolls i like to get um very specific rare amulets um unique items stuff like that will show up but the other stuff will not so that's how my loot simulator works and that's how everything that works but once again um filterblade.xyz is the website and um thank you very much to neversync and everyone who worked together to create this website and help people to create their own loot filters it's awesome it's a great tool and i would definitely recommend you guys taking use of it so that's all i gotta say I'm going to head out. Talk to you later. <laughs> Heaven sent my residence. It's everything just visiting. Blending.